Welcome to Learning Martial Arts. My name is Roger Grimes. And I'm Greg. And today is episode three. And we're going to be doing some jujitsu stuff. And we're going to do a mix of stuff. See, I did learn from Bart Vale a little bit of his shoot fighting system, which is more like a Japanese jujitsu style with focusing on some ground and stand up stuff. But it was mixed with the Kempo and things like that. It was pretty cool stuff. I also done a little bit of Buddhist jiu-jitsu and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So there's a lot more to jiu-jitsu than maybe some people think. So today we're going to focus in on some of the more standing up stuff. So we're going to show a little bit of what Bart Bale showed me, but also some other stuff that I've learned along the way. So are you excited? I am excited, yes. This is all new to you. Right. Yeah, and like we talked earlier, I, I just thought jujitsu was more ground tactical fighting. I didn't realize that it was a, like any karate, it's a combination of. So I'm excited to, to work on yeah. some of the stand up stuff. So Brazilian jiu jitsu came around and they got really good at the ground. But Japanese jiu jitsu was more of a self defense type stuff throw a guy down, break something, but you're not really wanting to go to the ground as much. So that's why my training was a mix of this and a mix of that, and I just had fun with it. So my main training is Kempo, but I do like to play with other stuff. But in Kempo, we have Japanese style Jiu Jitsu. So let's get into this lesson. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as Greg is going. <laughs> I hope I'm unscathed. All right, so we're going to do some break balls right now. Remember how we were doing that? All right, get down on the ground for a moment. Sit down. Okay, just sit on your rump there. Now I want your fall back, slap. I want you to breathe out. All right, go. Fall back. Good. All right, now I want you to do like this. Scoot over a little place. So I want you to come in here. Fall back, slap, and breathe out. Good. Now watch this. Arc your back. No, let your butt not touch the floor. It's going to get harder, Greg. Okay. It's going to get harder. You have to breathe and keep your head off the floor. Let your shoulder blades hit that floor and breathe out. Arc your back. Okay. Arc like this. Like you're going to just swing your head backwards. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get that butt out. I think, are you, like, nervous about doing that one, or is it just awkward? It's just awkward. I, yeah, it's just awkward for me. I'll keep trying. All right. So, keep doing the break balls. All right, so now all you do is lay on your back. I want to put your hands like this. Now, this is a good warm-up, but it's like a buck and roll drill. I want your buck your hips up straight up. Now I want you to reach over and touch with, uh, with that right hand over here. Good, now come on back. Now put your butt to the floor. Do it again up, reach and touch. Now try to touch higher up here okay. above your shoulders. Keep going, one side, breathe too, Greg. Up, come on up. Okay, so here, scoot over for a moment. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So what I'm saying is up, we don't have to commit right now. This is an exercise, a warm up, but it's giving you fundamentals. I believe that if we're gonna exercise, it should have some kind of component to make you better at what we're doing. So it should be relevant to your training. Okay. So this is giving you some workout, it's getting you warm ups, but it's also relevant. It's getting, someone's on you, you're bucking up. Now let me come down here. Here's your buck and roll. Take him out on top of me, Greg. All right, so at this point, I give you a hug and you up like this. Up. And then I'm here to here. That's kind of what that drill is doing for you. All right. Okay, so that makes sense. Get back down there. Try it again. Up. Roll. Good. Again, up. Keep doing it. All right, Greg, I want to keep this simple as possible. It's not going to be always that simple of doing this if you've never done this before. I know Mr. Miller hasn't really worked front rolls with you too much. I don't think he's done that with you at all. Right. Right? You know, he kind of cuts off teaching that sometimes when you do 
getting a little older because into the elderly. Yeah, but you <laughs> you got some spice in you. So <laughs> some may say you're the elderly, but you may put some spice in you. So basically I'm gonna be on all fours. You see I got the ball of my feet like this. So I'm here, and then I'm gonna kick over a leg. I'm gonna use my left leg though. So this here, you gotta tuck your head through the hole, bending your back and your head. You don't want your head to hit the floor when you roll. You're gonna have the left leg come over. Usually what we do in Kempo, we roll and stand up. But in Judo, they had us doing this and then going to a break fall. So this is, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna have you dive over nobody or anything like they did in my first day of Judo. They had me dive over somebody. I was like, well, thank God I knew how to roll. Because I would have been really stuck. They didn't even show me. They just took for granted I knew it. I was like, okay. Because I came in, they knew I had martial arts training. But I never had jujitsu training at that time. All right, so here we go. Coming down here. Left leg. Then so what I'm doing is foot here. Keep your heel or your ankle off the floor. Don't smack your left ankle. And you're going to slap the mat. So again, here, through. I learned the lesson of smacking your ankle onto the floor it doesn't feel good, even on padding. <laughs> the ball at the bottom of your foot can take a lot more than the oomph and then your ankle bone. Is it ankle bone doesn't feel good? All right, come right right here. I want you to try this out. As ugly as this may be, take this hand, come through, tuck your head. You're going to lift your knees up off the floor like this. Yeah, so you're going to come up, up like this, lifting this knee up, and then swing it. But you have to bend your head more. Yeah, you got to try to come in more like this. Now swing over. Go, over. Now you're going to slap down. <laughs> just, bravo! All right. <laughs> just lift my body. This is gonna take time to do it. Try it a couple more times. I want you to just keep doing that. Okay, the roll's getting better, but going to that break fall, right? See, here's how we were taught standing right up. Wow. But from here to this, I did it from standing, bam, it's a lot harder. But in order to do what we're gonna do with the Japanese stuff, where you're getting slammed, you need to know how to break fall. This is a great way to get that momentum slammed to the floor. Told you it's gonna get harder for break falls. That's okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you keep working it. Don't look so sad. Just keep doing it. Any thoughts so uh, before we move on to the lesson? I know we already went through your lesson, but they didn't see that part yet. But what's your thoughts on this? Um, falling. It, you, you, you make it look easy, but if you don't fall effectively, you really could hurt yourself. And there's a lot of elements to it. Yeah. Uh, and that's something that is completely foreign to me learning, you know, with Kempo. We haven't spent a lot of time um, on the mat. So that is something that, um, you know, I, we've done quite a few of our workouts together. This is what I feel the most without any real contact, and that's just me hitting the ground. Yeah. So that is something that... It kind that, of beats you up. It does. And if you don't have the adrenaline pumping, it's a lot harder. So a lot of times when you're drilling this jujitsu stuff, man, it's hard. It hurts. But you get more injuries doing jujitsu. You really do. Exhaling. That That is on the times that I hit the ground where I did exhale, it minimized. Yeah. Like the first couple times where you were teaching me, uh, I was doing everything wrong. And man, it, 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 I know we've got some matting, but it felt like I hit yeah. some mat. But as we progressed, it got, um, it, it lessened. Yeah. So that's just a testament to... So the question is with you is, once I did the last throw on you, and then I cranked your ankle, how did that make you feel? Um, it, you know, it, it, I could feel it. So, you know, and, and you, I appreciate that element of it is, you know, you're not going to go but on But that goes to show you how the possibility of injury is really high. Yeah, and you didn't. And you I didn't, didn't crank it, but no. you did pop a few times. Yeah, I, I yeah. <laughs> I adjusted them. He adjusted That's his. chiropractic. <laughs> We're going to have to charge you extra for that. But, anywho, you guys are going to have to stick around and watch this. Yeah, this is the torn so. Achilles, by the way, that he fixed. So I thank you for yeah. that.
<laughs> no, but you have to be real careful training this stuff. I try to be safe as possible with you. You haven't really got into any submissions yet. So, but basically, what do we work on today? Is break falls. Break falls. So yeah. even with doing the sweeping the leg out and doing that, we were working on break falls. It, and I was trying to be easy with the takedown with you. The last one, I bumped you a little bit harder, didn't I? I did, but I, you know, but it, you, it, after I, doing the whole class, your break fall was getting better. It, wasn't yeah, it? yeah. Did you breathe out? I breathed out, and, and again, it's still learning how to effectively hit the hand on the mat without causing. If you don't effectively fall, you can injure yourself. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so your take on this today. This was a this was the hardest lesson that I've had in, in the time that I've had the pleasure of training yeah. with you, just because it's so foreign. Yeah. Um, and falling, you know, we fall, but this is completely different. See, we have this stuff in the Kempo, but you haven't really explored it that much. No. And you never we never really took each other down that much because you haven't worked with me that on that. And Mr. Miller kinda of lightened up on that, a lot of that stuff because, you know, let's face it, he's a national treasure and we can't get him getting hurt and plus he don't want to hurt you guys well when you fall when you know you're falling and you practice it that's one thing but when you're in uh you know when we're training like this and you're you have control yeah. um you lose that control i'm controlling my fall when we do it in our you know our sessions but i'm not control you're, you're helping me along but it's still yeah. i still feel more of the impact i had fun with this one I did too. And then the guy that was requesting some of the leg stuff is Kyle Russell. So check out his channel. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. He's a cool guy. <laughs> and that's the only reason I did the request is because it's him. That's right, Kyle. It was because of you. So Next week, he's going to request me getting beat up. But I'm not going to continually <laughs> take requests on these videos. So keep watching. There's more after this. Just do it. We're going to take a brief moment from the video. I just want to say, if you didn't pick up my book, Lessons from the Cage Yet, what are you waiting for? You can get it in paperback or you can get it in ebook. Where can you get this? That is a wonderful question. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle. You can get it on the Apple Books. You can even buy it in Barnes & Noble. I've even seen it on the Target app and the Walmart app. But check it out. Just Google it if you don't know. Lessons from the Cage. Life Lessons from MMA, Roger Grimes. Now back to the program. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of the leg catching. So there is a gentleman that left a comment on one of the videos, but he's also somebody that I've collaborated with. And he was suggesting he wants to see some leg catches and things like that. So I thought this was a perfect time to do it. Not that we're taking like requests for this, series but i thought this will fit into what we're doing today and you know, i was like oh cool we could do the japanese style that we you know more influential with that so what we're going to do is get in the stance here throw a front kick at me i'm going to do one two this is something i got from bart vale now throw the kick again this is what we've done in the tempo so one two come in there's the palm that's the technique. But for the sake of training drills right now, this is what we're going to do. So coming over here, throw the kick. I go one, two. And instead of me palming you, grab my hand. What I'm going to do is get closer to you now. Once we get to this point, then I'm turn. You're going to break fall. Slap the mat. And keep your hand closer in here. See, I'm not taking you out tremendously hard. No, but I still feel like not doing it right. Just teaching you how to do the break fall. Sorry, come over here. Then you, you're going to do the same to me. All right, so throw the kick at me. I'm going one, two. All right, we're going to pair up here. Now I'm going to step, slant that mat. This is why we're grabbing here to lighten it up. Because otherwise, I just knock your butt down. Bang, you slap the floor. But if you're not learning that yet, that's a different story. All right, come over here. Now from here, put your right leg back for a moment. I know you left and but at this point, I'm throwing the front kick at you at the right. I want you to do parry block, grab it. Remember I was showing you this a little bit, kind of briefing you. All right, but don't leave it on you. You want to throw a kick for a moment. You got to clear it off you. That's the reason why you're, this is you're knocking it away. So like in Kepa, we got the cover blocks, which is like kind of, 
One, two. That's what it is. One, two. All right, so here, go. One, two. Good. Now come on up. Your steps up. All right, now get closer to me. Get this foot right next to me or behind me. Now you're going to turn. See how I did that? Now I want you to watch your own videos too, and you can see. And well, I do. Help you get the idea of it from a different perspective. That's what I like about videoing. You can see your mistakes. Well, and or again, I'm not falling things. hard, but yeah. it hurts. Yeah, but it doesn't feel good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You, you want to breathe out. You get It's like conditioning. Like when we hit these arms together, that's conditioning drills. You learn to take the hit, but now you got to learn to take the bump. You know, like in wrestling, even though it's, you know, scripted, they still get their butt kicked. Yeah, you think, you think about taking it completely the bumps differently. And sometimes they get hit hard. So but I know you've taught as far as strengthening in the wrist by just kind of hammering yourself, and I, I feel yeah. like I've built some strength up there, yeah. but this is completely different. Yeah, so let's go into this a couple times. All right, so throw the kick at me. Now right here, grab my hand down here. A little better if you're not breathing. I'm not breathing. I was thinking. All right, you do it again on me. Go one, two, even if you're this okay. way, right? Bring that even foot forward. Straight? Okay. No, bring that foot forward here. Even if you're this way, I'm coming in here. Just one, two, come on up here. Now get closer to me. <coughs> even if you have to breathe out, ridiculous. <coughs> Do it. Okay. All right. Front kick at me. Now I'm here. Better? Didn't breathe. A little bit. You didn't breathe. You're catching yourself now. So when you start catching yourself and say, I didn't, that's good. Because if you don't know there's a problem, you're never going to fix it. But the fall was a lot softer than the other yeah. one. So that's that's a yeah. milestone. All right, so now you take me down. Now from here. Good. Kick me. Now the arm gets numb. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we try to lift, help each other up. I actually prefer not helping oh, each sorry. other up. No, I'm saying you know we, I prefer not that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's easier on us if we just get ourselves up. Yeah. Trying to get each other up, and we do it wrong, and that's how sometimes you get hurt. So, all right, how's that feel? <laughs> now what we're gonna do is universal block to a catch. Now make sure when you're doing this against a roundhouse kick, if you just do this. You're definitely probably going to break your arm. That's why we've got to kind of skim it, slice it through, and then we've got to rip, wrap around and catch. All right, so throw the left or the right roundhouse kick over here. So I'm here. We're going to just do that for a moment. All right, here we go. Do it again. Oh, I'm going to kick you. You're going to try it. So just so I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm in this position. Bring this out, turn, move your right foot forward. Like that. And then trap over top. Now wrap around with this. This is coming from a couple different things. It's in the Tracy system. Here where we turn, X kick, drop down, knee punch. Bart Bell had one, we do it here, turn instead of X kick, you step back, bring them down, you do like an ankle lock. It's pretty cool. We're not gonna do those yet today. So as I'm turning, I'm then bringing this up. up. Circle. Circle. So here, go around. So I'm gonna throw a roundhouse kick. I want you to just slice it down as you turn your body and step it forward. No, downward. Downward. Okay. Anyway, trap. All right, try that. Come here. Now from here, trap it. You see how that works? Okay. Throw the roundhouse kick at me. You have to throw it higher or it doesn't work at all. I'm not high enough? No, I'm, I'm actually coming down. It's not going to work great. Okay. All right, throw it up a little higher, like up in here. I'm here. Now, what I really want to do is be here. Cross step. I kick you up, take you to the fall. Oh, okay. I'm going to try to do this with you slow when we do it. But that could be a hard fall if you don't pay attention. You know. All right, so from here, just do the step around. 
Now from here, see how you got it like this? You can turn it like that. That sets you up for a lot of other things. I throw the kick at me. So now I'm here. I'm not worried about turning you. So from here, you, you're turning too much that way. Throw a roundhouse kick. It's hard for you to get up there, isn't it? Yes. All right, so at this point, you see this? I'm inside your leg. Now I just come in here, fall. Slap. I like how you breathe after you fell and slap after you fell. <laughs> Throw the roundhouse kick at me. Now fall. Boom. I did that as slow as I can. I got it quick, but I didn't take you down. So what are you going to do once you get in cross? You're kicking, you're going to bow like this or turn, and they're going to fall. So let's do this in the air for a moment. Okay. So come on next to me and follow me. So they're kicking you. You're going to do this, slicing it down. Don't go this way. Slice it like this as you're stepping. Roll this arm over top. Okay, so now you're gonna have yourself in with the cross. Now kick this out as you bow your shoulder down that way. All right, come on this way. All right, you ready? Am I kicking you or you? So I'm gonna kick you, you're gonna try this. So take your time as much as you can. I can hold my balance as long as I can hold my balance. Okay. <laughs> you're thinking, okay. Yeah, that's about it, right? And sometimes it can be longer and sometimes it's not. So I'm going to work on trying to stay up for you and then guide you through it. So bring yourself around. So step back a little more. You can be mid-range. You can be this way. So as I do it, get the trap. Nope, wrong way. Wrong way. I'm hitting you in the face there. All right, so this way. Down. Come around. Wrong arm. Right, this one. Should just collapse down this way. We didn't change a thing. Keep it the way you were doing it. All right, bring that foot back. All the way. All right, so start to turn into this with the universal. Now bring this up. Keep this here. Don't do too much. Just drop it. All right, now step in as you do this. Good. Now take your other foot. Cross the back here. And back a little more. Like cross. No, go back. You're just stepping back. This time we're gonna do like dancer. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Whee! Boom, boom! What? All right, come on up here. Step around, down here. Okay, too much with this, hold on. You try to do this, do this. Here, hug. All right, come around. No, jeez, oh man, it's down. down. Take your time with this. Bring your front foot forward. Other one for now. So say you're starting here. Hands here. This drops and comes across. Yes. And then that here, the one low, goes circular. And then you just kind of do like I dream a genie. Okay. Here. And then you're going to step around as you're doing this. Good. Then you take the dancer cross step. Then you step out and bow. Okay. Come around here. Now from here. Wrap this is here. Okay, dancer cross step. Now from here. This is gonna sweep behind me. Turn. <laughs> right there. I got the funniest. Hoot! <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Even if you just go hoot, just whatever take... it is, you can breathe it out. Yeah, when I don't exhale, uh, yeah. I didn't know we'll talk about that. It's right, so come over here, throw the kick at me. From here, throw up high right here. Come on. I'll touch it. Hey! Right here, look at this. I think it's take this. How's that feel? Fudge. I just broke you. I heard you break in like 18 places. I have to be careful with you. Mr. Miller or Grandmaster Miller always taught me hurt students don't stay, hurt students don't pay. And I just broke Greg on camera. No one saw that. Hey, you still here? <laughs> I'm glad you guys stuck around to this part, to the end of the video. I had fun doing this. This is pretty foreign to you still. You, it's new. It's a whole nother world. Doing any kind of grappling and throwing and is a whole nother world than what you've trained. Your whole goal is to not get on the ground. And then yeah. when you are put on the ground, And now we're telling it. you get on the yeah, ground. Yeah, yes. So <laughs> it totally goes against sensibility. But if you get to the ground, what are you going to do? 
know, you want to know how to take care of yourself on the ground. But this is cool because you can throw somebody sometimes. It's less of, I mean, they hurt themselves on the fall. But, you know, I hit you in the throat. That's a little more lethal than me throwing you. That's a good point. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave some comments in there. Like, share the video. You know, do all that jazz. You know, stuff to pray for tell me. you to do. <laughs> pray for Greg. He needs it. You know, he's getting his butt thrown around a little bit. And this is just a taste. This is not, you know, getting hardcore into it. I'm not really going to step that up completely. We did step up at the end. And, like, you, what do you think about your throw? Like you said, it didn't hurt as much, right? Yeah, from the, the first fall to the, the last fall. Uh, and you took me down a lot faster. I didn't have much much time to think, but the fact but the that I was more aware of the repetition. The whole class, and that was the whole purpose. Yes, yes. We went out to the lake thing, but I turned it into really teaching you how to fall. So you're going to remember those techniques. We're probably not going to work them all the time. You know, maybe we'll work it in sometimes just to get you to do the falls. But it really isn't in my routine to teach right now. i got a set curriculum that I, I couldn't get that out there. A set curriculum that I do usually when I teach this. I stepped ahead and brought it to you. Just because of Kyle Russell. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys haven't subscribed yet? Just do it. Happy 4th. Yeah, happy 4th. God bless. <laughs>